Welcome to the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen, where we share gourmet recipes at a low budget wonder. Now check this out. First thing you want to do is get your gas turned on and get your grill fired up. Now on a gas grill, we've got to run indirect heat. And my grill has three burners, and I'm going to run the one that runs right across the front base and up the side here. Leaving the other two burners off will give us enough room for our Boston pork butt. Now all we need is some wood chips or pellets and a smoker tube. These things yield excellent results. Using a canning jar funnel like this one, I can practically fill this to the brim by the handfuls without mess. I also add a little bit of lighter fluid to the top to help get this started with my torch. In just a few short minutes, the flame will go out and we'll be smoking. Now I'm going to set my burner on its lowest setting, then carefully add the smoke tube to the front of the grill. I'm just trying to avoid spillage, but depending on what kind of wood chips or pellets you use, these tubes can smoke anywhere from two to four hours. Now here I've got your basic Boston Bud rub recipe. This is my version and what I put together here, and I'll include the ingredients on my website. But what's a rub without a roast? Here I've got a Boston Bud I picked up for 10 bucks. I've since given it a rinse and I patted it dry. But we need to add a binder to make sure that that rub sticks. So we're going to add some mustard and get that rubbed in everywhere. I've added the rub to a shaker so it can go on evenly. Again, you want to make sure we get all sides. Even a thin layer over the bottom on the fat cap. Why not? Then you want to get it all pressed in. Now we're ready for the grill. Now with the lid down I've got this baby tuned in to 275 degrees Fahrenheit. As you can see we've got some great smoke rolling. So we're going to drop that Boston butt right in the indirect heat spot and the opposing corner, a bowl of water. So we're going to smoke our Boston butt roast on a propane grill with a bowl of water and a smoke tube. And this can easily take anywhere from 8 to 10 hours. Get the lid down, we'll get our heat back up. As you can see, out the back we've got plenty of smoke. Now here I've got a spray bottle with some apple cider vinegar. I'm going to open this grill back up every hour on the hour and spritz that Boston butt roast. You don't want to spend a lot of time doing this because you don't want to lose all that heat. Just enough to get it moisturized. After a few hours, eventually your smoke tube will run out of smoke. You can see here, we're out of pellets. And this thing is hot, so don't use your hands, use some tongs. And if you look close here, you can still see some red hot ash left in there. That's going to help us start our next batch of pellets. And once you've filled that back up to the brim, you can go ahead and add it back to the grill. Carefully, I might add. And in just a few short minutes, it'll start back up again. But you shouldn't have to refill the tube more than once. Three hours into cooking, I like to stick the roast with a thermometer. I probe only to the center, avoiding bone. Our current temp is 121, but our target is 160 for wrapping. I face it towards the door so I can see it through my window, and I should hit 160 in the next few hours. Also continue spritzing every hour on the hour. And then once you've reached your target wrapping temp, 160, I'm going to pull the thermometer out, remove the smoke tube. We won't be needing that anymore. Then very carefully lift this Boston butt out of the grill. Got a pan here. I'll take it inside for wrapping. Got two layers here. We're going to fold everything up on the sides and on the ends as well. Everything going up. 
the second layer goes the opposite direction, but still, everything going up. What we don't want is the juice from the pork, as it slow roasts, escaping. We need it to collect in the bottom. And now, back to the grill. I'm just going to put it right back in the same spot it was in before, and we're going to put that thermometer back in it as well. Quickly get that lid back down, and our target temp this time is 195. But this is the easy part. All we got to do now is sit and wait. Five hours later, boom, we're on it. I don't recommend you using your hands like I'm going to do, but I can handle it. Don't worry about me. But you want to let this rest for about 20 minutes before you crack it open. As you can see, we've got some good color. And in the bottom here, we've got liquid gold. Do not throw this out. You need it. Now we'll do the old pull test. See that? That bone came out nice and smooth. We got a winner here, folks. Now let's see how she pulls apart. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also ring the little dinghy for notifications. As you can see, it shreds up nice beautiful pulled pork, but we need to mix that jus right back into the pork. Get it spread evenly so all of this roast can have flavor. Because there is no point to take all the time it takes to smoke this slow and low Boston butt and not get that taste throughout every bite. I mean, not that there's anything wrong with it, but you might as well bake it in the oven if you're going to do that. And there you have it, smoked Boston butt roast right here in the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen. Thank you for watching, and be sure to stop by poormansgourmetkitchen.com for more recipes and exact ingredients.